pretty insane what I saw. You're on this beautiful white sand, there's palm trees and amazing waves and you're like, this doesn't make sense. There was trash everywhere. We're at a very critical time. If we want to continue to be here, really have to reverse a lot of the damage that we started to create. Why would IKEA want to do anything with surfing? I don't know any Swedish surfers and that surfing was even happening in Sweden. No, I know Magnus now. <laughs> so I'm Magnus. I guess I'm a surfer. Yeah, we have waves. Windblown waves though. It's a very cute little port on the southeastern part of Sweden. I didn't know that that was happening there. We are a curious company and we want to understand different types of people. We are super curious how surfers live. They have this great engagement with nature and we are super inspired to understand and get that learning from this surf community that we're working with. It's been a true collaboration with the World Surf League. We've got Rob and Cassia in LA. We've combined them with our IKEA designers, Mikkel and Vibka. It's been an incredible journey for us to immerse ourselves and you know, really think of what resources we use today. Something that Ingvar started off with at IKEA, low impact products. That's where we can make a difference on this collection. World Surf League is the WSL. We're the leading authority for professional surfing, crowning world champions, defining those standards of what it means to be the best in the world. I feel very special that IKEA has taken such an interest in surfing. They're doing that deep work to really understand real needs that surfers have by talking to people all over the planet. Hey, I'm Felipe from Sao Paulo. I'm from Brazil. Central Japan. I'm a surfer from Philadelphia. North Shore of Oahu. We would create a line that pulls in like what solves the problems that surfers might have. But we also wanted to infuse it with some of the stoke around surfing. Rob and Cassia embody that. They are icons of the sport. I think me being from California, I want to be like Rob. Rob really embodies what I think people fall in love with, with surfing. It's that dreamy, wanderlust lifestyle that people want to be a part of. I also see him as this great designer. He has like a beautiful design eye, and he creates surfboards that have a lot of sensibility about sustainability. And he's also one of my favorite surfers ever. Incredible. Incredible surfer, human. I first saw Cassia surfing at Cardiff Reef. It wasn't long after that, she became this phenomenon all over magazines and, and traveling the world. She is also an amazing designer and like creates these wetsuits. Everyone was just wearing black wetsuits and then Cassia came along. It sort of opened everything up for surfing.
and it mattered to them to like come out to California, to go to Rob's house, to meet Rob, to see how he lives. I'm really kind of interested in how surfboards are made. We're very functional driven and making products. Could you like just explain to me what it is shaping a board? <laughs> I think we could learn a lot. We have to go to my shaping room. I think they really lit up and they saw like me building things. You know, with my background as a surfboard shaper, it just gives you a whole new appreciation for shape, and form, and function. We started talking. It was about making stuff that will kind of blow people's minds. Your everyday surfer is gonna have to have this. So we traveled to Sweden and we went to the IKEA headquarters. We had a blast hanging together. It's like every time we came around a corner, it was like, what? What is going on here? We got to see how they roll and then it was like, all right, let's go all sit down in a room and let's just start brainstorming. We had days of just throwing out ideas. It's like, what if we did this? And they'd be over there sketching it. And we started talking about a table and chairs that you could have at the beach. And that piece of wood might as well be shaped as like some sort of a, an alaya. Let's build it. When we all left Sweden, we kept on filling this think tank. Oh, there's Bibka. Yeah, <laughs> there you are. The communication was very frequent. What are you drinking? Tequila? No, water. <laughs> to actually get a little package in the mail and tear into it and touch something finally. And, wow, okay, this is happening. This is legit. So this was somewhat of an inspiration for it right here. An ancient Hawaiian surfboard. Since I'm not a surfer, I send them to Rob, and then after that we adjust it until it becomes perfect. Yeah, it's like really kind of sharp. I would maybe yeah. just, just smooth that out and just round it. This is a pretty amazing little device that you can take this out into the ocean and, and use it to ride waves. That energy pushing you towards the beach is uh, it's a pretty special feeling. Hand plane is a great way to experience it. I love the backpack so far. I've been road testing and the wet dry pocket is perfect. I'm really happy with the closures of it as well. It's been super nice. It was a really awesome process, funneling all those ideas down to a very distilled collection that's really supporting what people want on the go, at home, or at the beach. I just had this conversation yesterday with my son about relationships. The ocean, for me, it's a relationship that I want to share with him. Since he was born, I take him to the beach. It was probably a year ago, I saw him start picking up trash. I didn't, I didn't ask him to. And he just started like doing exactly what I did. And so it makes me think that it's just all about leading by example, right? It's just like if you can show people a good way to do things, I think they will just naturally do them. I hope that uh, people that buy products from this collection, that they will solve some problems in their lives. And I also hope that it will make it easier for people to, to live a more sustainable life and take care of the nature. We kept coming back to high vibe, low impact, because that was something that like Casilla would always say, and it was just an ethos that I think she carried. To me, high vibe, low impact, really, it's like, 
cool design, super cool visual aesthetic, super cool functionality, and then low impact. Like, hey, we're taking plastics out of the ocean and we're not polluting waterways and we're inspiring people that it's possible. When you hear Rob and Cassia talk about being and engaging with water and this feeling it gives, catching that right wave, we wanted to bring that to the many people. To give people access to the ocean, whether they're catching waves or not. People need it. It's like I call the ocean saltwater therapy. Just floating in the water and feeling that and like hearing the sound of the water. That feeling right there is why we surf and why we play in the ocean. It is the best place to go and have a, have a good time.